tonight on EA Sports. Super Bowl 59. see Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys taking on Sam Darnold and the New York Jets. It's the National Football League presented by EA Sports. Tonight it's all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy as it'll be the AFC champion New York Jets taking on the NFC champions the Dallas Cowboys. It's finally time for the main event here in 2025. Away we go in Super Bowl 59. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Here now comes the Jets offense and the man that will be captaining the ship at six foot three, it's Sam Darnold. I love how he exploded on the national scene his redshirt freshman year when at the beginning of the season he was not named the starting quarterback, but when USC was struggling, he got an opportunity. And by the end of the year, the Rose Bowl MVP, an epic shootout with Penn State, and put him on the NFL radar in a big way. Now the first play of the drive there is incomplete. Intended for the Here's second and ten now from the 29. Brings up second and ten. Out of the shotgun, here's Darnold. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Bell. And he's out of bounds, able to take this one up to the 35. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Oh, I came to my feet on that one. I thought he was getting close to breaking that one big, but in the end, give some credit to the defense, finding a way to get to him and forcing a third down. And they'll look to avoid an early three and out here on third and four. The shotgun snap for Darnold. He finds his target. It's Crowder. 
And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. He was a 1,000-yard receiver during the regular season, and that's his first catch of this Super Bowl, and he picks up the first down. So he turned to a trusted, familiar face in that third down situation. It paid off. Yeah, you go to your veteran receiver in that spot, so you can't underestimate him when he's on the field defensively. Make sure you know where he is because he understands how to get open in key situations. On first and ten, Darnold. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. That's methodical opening drive here. They're already in the field goal range. They're in a good spot. You know that people just like to take a shot in this part of the field. But at the same time, as methodical as they've been, they might want to run the ball a little bit here, too. And just on the outskirts of the red zone, they have options now. Either way, though, they've come out with a purpose. Now a carry for the former Michigan State man, Le'Veon Bell. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Brandon, we talk all the time about those hybrid players, guys who could do more than one thing, and I think if you're playing strong safety in the NFL today, you are a true hybrid, part linebacker, part cover guy. And coming up, sticking his nose in the mess there and making a nice play defensively. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield, complete. And he is going to have a Jets first down, although it doesn't appear to be by much. He needed four, and he got four on third down. So when you saw him dump it off to the back, did you think he was going to pick up the first down there? <laughs> well, I knew one thing. It wasn't his primary target. At least it didn't look like it. Turned out to be the play they needed, though. And it's big because it's the opening drive. So converting that third down, keeping the play, not the play, the drive going. Yeah, it certainly appeared like his downfield targets were covered. Threw a little dump off to, the, to his back. And nice effort picking up the first down, though. And you're right. That opening drive, keep those chains moving. And he'll take it from the 18 to the 15, a gain of three. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. A three-yard pickup brings up second and seven. Darnold from the gun. 15-yard line. This will be caught just inside the 10. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the nine. Brings up third down. They'll try and run for it with Bell. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Nine yards on the play there, and it sets him up first and goal. A stop there on third. They could have held him to three on this opening drive. Now they have to bow their necks on first and goal. And if I'm looking at this from the offense's point of view, that's a big-time pickup right there. And I'd go right at him with another momentum play. I'd go quickly and attack him, because right now they probably have their heads down a little bit since they didn't stop him on third down. A chance for the first score of this Super Bowl. Here's first and goal. Darnold now to throw. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Second and goal, the lone man in the backfield, Le'Veon Bell. Leads to second and goal. He'll get it up the middle. And he's going to take it in for a Jets touchdown. With the first touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Jets take the ball down the field and score on their opening drive. A long opening drive, but a very successful opening drive. We call that methodical, I guess, when it takes that many plays. Methodical and almost like a boxing match where you're hitting them with body blows. They can withstand them here. Look, they gave up the touchdown, but you don't feel like a knockout is there. But they keep doing that in the fourth quarter. That's when the knockout occurs. It becomes tough for that defense if they're on the field that long. We'll see if they can continue that in future drives. He's got it, and the Jets lead 7-0. So that drive, 12 plays in length, and it ends with a Le'Veon Bell touchdown run. After the touchdown, wants to kick it off. Taken in at the three. 
And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. Now we'll see what the right arm of Dak Prescott has in store as the Dallas Cowboys offense sets up shop. One thing he does very well, he takes care of the football. Had 176 pass attempts to start his career without an interception. That's the most in NFL history. And finished his rookie year, 23 touchdown passes and only four interceptions. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10, just shy of the 30. Out of the gun, he'll throw. Able to hit his target, Lamb. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that'll make it second and a foot or so. 10 yards on the pickup. It's second and inches at the 39-yard line. Here's the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. They'll wind up losing three. And now it's third down. We knew both of these safeties were good in run support, but how about the play we just saw there? How about that closing speed? Able to get to the outside part of the field and turn that play into a loss. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Prescott from the gun. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. His first catch of this Super Bowl, and it'll be good for a first down. I know at the end of games, coaches always tell us that no one play won or lost a game. But this seems pretty important early, doesn't it? The, their ability to pick up that first down on third down, I thought that was key. Well, you're already in the hole after the touchdown on the other side. How will you respond? We talk about that a lot, and they responded pretty well there. You go three and out, I think you give up a lot of momentum. You get down two scores, could be an entirely different. And a loose football, and it's scooped up by the Jets. We have seen this before, and we know coaches preach about this and work on it all the time. Catch the ball. You know there's going to be some traffic somewhere. They've got to put it away and secure it as they try and get downfield. Back onto the field come the New York Jets for their second drive. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7-0 lead. Of course they would. I mean, look, they're on the road. So getting the 7-0 lead was huge for them, right? Imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road, taking the crowd out of the game. It'd be ideal. They'll start out on the ground with Bell. And hard running's going to get him over the 40 to the 42. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. It's a gain of seven. Brings up second and Out of the shotgun, it's Bell. And very little daylight there. He'll get a couple up to the 44. And the Cowboys here on third down, bringing in an extra defensive back. Brings up third down. From the shotgun, it's a give to Bell. And he brings this up to the 46. Good enough for the first. Bell, that's good. So after the defense gets you the ball on a takeaway and a fumble recovery of their own, you've got to reward them, don't you? You've got to stay out on the field, give them a chance to rest, and how about doing it the way they did it, running the football and picking it up on third down. Yeah, would not have wanted to go three and out. They avoid that right there. Yeah, they avoided the glares as they went back to the bench, didn't they? A first down throw, Darnold. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. That last catch short the marker by just a yard, leaves him with a very manageable second and one. And a yard at the 45-yard line. Now Bell. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Two yards, good enough for a first. First and 10 at the 42-yard line. This will be a jet sweep to Crowder. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Yard line. A seven-yard pickup brings up second and three. Back to throw, Darnold. Over the middle, it's complete. And he's going to have another first down here as 
the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 15-yard line. Three catches for him now in this first quarter of the Super Bowl. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing, but as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And this is going to be caught by Smith for a jet touchdown. A 15-yard touchdown grab. And the Jets are going to add on to their lead. They've got to be thrilled on the road right now. Touchdown, turnover, touchdown, and quickly trying to make it 14 to nothing. Yeah, and mentioned it already. On the road, to be able to go into someone else's house and establish a start like that, obviously your confidence rises in a big way, and you put some doubt in their minds. And it's good, and they have jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. So that drive goes eight plays, and it's finished off by a New York Jets touchdown. Will Lutz, after the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. First and 10 at their own 29-yard line. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. And last time, not only the turnover, but that turned into six points. They got to make up for that here. We always hear about empty possessions, but some are worse than others. So you can have an empty possession, pump the ball away, get yourself set to play defense, but when you turn it over, it changes momentum, and when they take it down to punch it in on you, that's a bad possession all the way around. Yeah, but you're hungry to get back out there, aren't you? You better be, because otherwise, it's going to be a long day for you. On second down, it's Elliott. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Oh boy. You're down early. How do you get back in the game? Maybe establish the run. I think they're trying to do that. Now I'm with you on that one. And what I like about the message is that there's no panic from the head coach. He's already told his offense coordinator, let's run the football. Let's get things settled down a little bit and find our way back into this game. So after a good run by Zeke, another first and 10. They play fake to Elliott. Now Prescott. He'll fire this deep for Gallup. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. It leads to second and 10. So line of scrimmage still the 39 on second and 10. This is Elliott. And able to get this one all the way up to about the 46-yard line. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. 14. Cowboys nothing. The Jets will bring in a nickel set as they try to stop this third down. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. Throw left side complete. It's Elliott. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. 11 yards and a Cowboy first down. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They were starting to move the ball, and what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 43. Elliot. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. At the 38-yard line. A gain of five brings up second and five. Out of the gun. Here's Prescott. He'll find Lamb. That's complete. And that 
it's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 29-yard line. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. That type of run right there, that just fires me up when I watch it because that's maybe the most underrated aspect of his game. The ability to break tackles and know where the first down chains are and pick them up. He's tough, good pedigree. Dad Stacy was a linebacker at Missouri. And how about mom on the track team? So I think that's where the speed came from. And, she just, and she's not shy about letting us know that, too. <laughs> yeah, I got the best of both worlds. They keep on the ground with Elliott. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Up to make the tackle, J.C. Jackson. At the 13-yard line. It's a gain of five. Brings Second and five now. Prescott. And this is caught. It's Cooper. And the Cowboys are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. His second catch in the Super Bowl, and it's good enough for a first down. Now Elliott. Yeah, the Cowboys are going to be set up with a first and goal. He couldn't quite reach the chalk, but they'll have it at the one-yard line. It'll be a pickup of four, and it brings up second and goal. And, Brandon, they went to a nickel defense, and that's a surprise this close to the goal line because ordinarily you use the back end of the end zone, the sidelines as extra defenders, and you want bigger people on the field to try to... And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Punching it in from a yard away. And the Cowboys have cut it to within a score. And that one makes it 14-7. to seven. Is good. That one in the books as a 12-play drive. And it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. the kickoffs away. This will be fielded inside the five. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. At their own 30-yard line. Sam Darnold leading the offense out for their next possession. He's played a pretty clean first half, a touchdown, no interceptions. Frankly, that's what they expect out of it. They want to see the ball thrown and thrown well, and he's able to do that and put it in the end zone. They'd love to see more of that before this game finishes. But right now, he's got his team in a good spot. A good spot, maybe looking for touchdown pass number two here in the second quarter. Just what you want on a first down run, call it eight yards. And it's second and two. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up the touchdown. A gain of a yard. Brings up third and one. Darnold will throw it on third and one. Got a man. It's Mims. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. His first catch of this Super Bowl, and it'll be good for a first down. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. Darnold on first down. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. He was trying to get it to Denzel Mims that time. That'll bring up second down. Well, we always talk about how you've got to be quick when you go through your progressions. And here's another prime example. Trying to look downfield. He was standing in the pocket, but just couldn't find anyone open, could he? No, not enough time. They hit him and forced that incompletion. Darnold completes it. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. First down carry by Bell. 
And he's able to work free for about six down to the 18. The last run got six, now second and four. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four. Darnold. Well, it's caught on the right side at Smith. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. First and 10 at the 13-yard line. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Here's Darnold. And he'll get this underneath to Bell. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll bring up a second in just about a few inches here. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. He was trying to get it to Denzel Mims that time. But now it's third down. It's now third down and less than a yard. Throwing again is Darnold. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Boy, a call like this, certainly tougher to make in a Super Bowl, but they'll go for it on fourth down. And that is going to be incomplete. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And it'll be a turnover on down. So a tough pill to swallow there. A would-be touchdown pass in and out of his hands on fourth. Sometimes it just comes down to execution, doesn't it? Because we're always questioning, should they go for it, should they not? Is it the right play call? Is it not? In this situation, everything was right except for the finish. You have to catch the ball and convert. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And now their defense came through with the goal line. Stan got them the ball back. See what they can do about putting a drive together. Long way to go. They need to reward that defense. A goal line stand, they've got to make that stand up themselves, right? Give the defense a chance to catch their breath on the sidelines. At least get two first downs. Three would be better. Change field position. Let them catch their breath. I guess it's good we can't really read the mind of the defensive coordinator now, huh? Had him pinned back there deep, give up that run. Can't be happy. Yeah, whatever was whatever is in his mind right now, we probably couldn't say over the air. So still backed up, but the situation not as dire now. First and 10 at the 14. Now this throw caught left side, and he's out right at the 25. 11 yards and a Cowboy first down. First and 10 at the 25-yard line. Tenth carry now for Allian. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. A gain of five brings up second and five. Allian, toss right. That's another Cowboy. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Any team that runs the toss and runs it successfully, that means they win the battle on the edges. That means you seal the edge in order to let your back get to the corner. They got it done there for a very nice game. And DP goes into Jets territory before being taken down. Elliott, a big run that time by Elliott. 44 yards. A tough run by Ezekiel Elliott, the fourth overall pick in the 2016 draft. If you watch tape of him in college, you saw plenty of those runs because I know the highlights showed him in the open field breaking away from people, but that's how he wore down defenses. Those exact type of runs. So a big play as it gets him all the way down to the 20 now for first and 10. From the red zone now, Prescott. That is caught inside the five. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. A 20-yard touchdown. And the Cowboys are an extra point away from tying the football game.
And we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. So the drive there took six plays. And it culminates in a Dallas touchdown. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. Taken in at the three. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. At their own 30-yard line. New York ready to go again offensively. And on the last drive, they were in field goal range. They just opted not to kick it, didn't get it. How does that change the mentality this go around? I don't think it changes much for the head coach because this is what he preaches all the time. Attack at all times in any spot on the field. And he likes touchdowns, not field goals. Now, your field goal kicker, you've got to make sure you nurse him through and say, OK, don't worry about it. When we need you, you've got to be ready to go. And the team, of course, loves to see points on the board. So let's see if it changes a little bit in the same spot again. We'll see what the decision is here if they get to that spot. And his throw's going to be incomplete. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Third down. Now it's Darnold. And the throw there going to be incomplete. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. This will be fielded at the 17. A good kick, 48 yards, four on the return. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. The Dallas offense back out onto the field. And it's a unit last drive that did it all on the ground, Charles. And they controlled it from the interior, big on big, right? Offensive lineman versus defensive lineman. But you know, in order to keep the football moving downfield, other people have to get involved as well. Your wide receivers, your tight ends, lead runners, anything that you have possible to get in front and keep the ball moving. And now the defense may be looking out for a pass coming up. A gain of six there on first. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Throwing again on second down. Prescott, and he will find his man on the outside. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. Third and short yardage, Prescott. And it's going to be incomplete. He was able to catch it there on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. And it's going to bring up fourth down. So one first down on that drive, and that's it. Forced to take the deep shot on third down and couldn't hit it. Now they have to punt this one away. And the punt team on now as this one set away. This is brought in at the 21. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And the Jets will take over first and 10. The New York set to take the field. And we're under a minute to go here. What's been an even first half all tied up? Yeah, still time to make something happen, too. A couple completions, you string them together, could get in the field goal range. Let's see what happens. On first down, it's Darnold. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Smith. First down yardage on the first play of the drive. Give him 14. First and 10 at the 43-yard line. Now Darnold. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. Darnold off the play fake to Bell. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. On first down, Darnold. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. Jets, first down. First and 10 at the 14-yard line. The 
Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. That is caught at the 7-yard line. Now a signal and a timeout called as it comes with nine seconds to go in this first half of play. Looking to throw again on second down. Darnold to the goal line, but it's incomplete. He was trying to get it to Denzel Mims that time, and it's third and short. A 23-yard attempt. And Lutz's kick is good. And that will do it for this first half. So we've come upon halftime in the big one, the Super Bowl, as we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. What a season this has been. Hard to believe it ends tonight as we'll get back to you guys for the second half of this Super Bowl in just a moment. It's been a tremendous season from beginning to end, and now we'll play one half of football to decide who raises the Lombardi Trophy. And for the call, let's get it right back to Brandon and Charles. Thank you, sir. A field goal separates these two teams as we come back for this second half. And he will not bring it out. It's a touchback. Out come the Cowboys now as he'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors, but overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up, and we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? when the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Again, it's Elliott. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. It's a first down on a gain of 10. He continues to have a big night here under the lights carrying the football. And some guys prefer night games. For whatever reason, their bodies react a certain way. They love the spotlight. Maybe that's what it is. The best seats in the house, the ones where he's carrying the football for his offensive teammates, the worst seats, the 11 guys trying to tackle him on defense. A first down carry by Elliott. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. He had a really solid first half running the football and picking up where he left off here in the third quarter. How about the yardage he's piling up right now? This feels like a full game, not just a series that we're watching right now. I know people are screaming, where are the adjustments from halftime on the defensive side of the ball? Sometimes they're just not there. Sometimes you just have to find a way to tackle someone. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 46. Another carry tonight for the workhorse alley. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Taken down at the 41. A gain of five brings up second and five. They'll run with Elliott. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. It's a first down on a gain of 10. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. Now about right there. He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. on this drive so far. It's first and 10. Off play action to Elliott. Here's Prescott. And this is a rocket pulled in by Cooper. Complete. And finally down it goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. That one goes for 24 yards. So Amari Cooper out of Northwestern High School in Miami making a nice play there. And it's so funny that when I was going through the draft process when he came out of Alabama and was inquiring about him and his skills, 
They say it all began back in Miami. He really became a pro receiver at a young age because of his attention to detail and precision. But don't forget his athletic ability. That's what made that catch there. He did spend one year with Teddy Bridgewater as his quarterback there, so that helped back in high school. It'll be a gain of five there as they move closer. It's second and goal. And he continues to pile up the yardage. That puts him over a buck 50 now. And this is caught for a Cowboy touchdown. Michael Gallup there to make the grab. And the Cowboys have retaken the lead. There was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Here's Bailey now for the extra point. It's up and good to make it 21-17. So that one, an eight-play drive. It spans 75 yards. And it's capped off for the Cowboys touchdown. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Taking it about the one. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. At their own 26-yard line. Here's the Jets offense now getting set to start off this third quarter. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize, like going to the county fair. You don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. It's second and eight. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Darnold from the gun, able to connect with Mims. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. From the gun on third down, here's Darnold. And he will go down. A Cowboys sack. Well, they brought the lead into this third quarter, and now they're really stepping up, setting a tone here defensively. They came right out roaring because you had to know that in the locker room, they talked about setting that tone that you just described, continuing the dominance that they exhibited in the first half. Here's the Jets punter now as he'll punt it away for the second time. So possession goes over here on the punt, and the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Dak and the Cowboys ready for their next possession. They haven't had to rely so much on the passing game. It's really been a team effort in the running game that's kept them successful and has them in the lead. I like that, too, the team effort, because when I was growing up, one guy yeah. carried the football, right? You stuck it in his chest 20 to 30 times a game, and he was the heavy volume, heavy dose guy. Now, you spread it around, different people touching it, and in this game, it's proven to be effective. Yeah, spreading the wealth has been very effective. He continues to be effective running the football, a big reason that they have the lead. And I love one of the quotes that I read about him where he said, of himself, I love it when a team just hops on my back and I just carry them along. certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football. 
Sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Prescott. Over the middle, Cooper with it. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. It's funny, when I go back to our pregame meeting with Amari Cooper, and we mentioned, eh, what would they play man coverage against you? He almost seemed offended by it, didn't he? I'll beat it. That's basically what he said, right? <laughs> I mean, the best receivers we've ever talked to and covered, when you talk about covering them with one guy, they think that's a personal affront. If they feel like they can't just beat one defender, then they're not very good. On first down, Elliott. And he's taken down after a gain of three as they move it from the 22 to the 19. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. A three-yard pickup. Brings up second and seven. At Prescott the from the gun. And he'll hit the slant route. That's caught by Cooper. Cowboy. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. And a lot of people ask the same question all the time. Why do we see so many slants in the red zone? Well, the windows are tighter. Everything's more condensed. It has to be quicker. And you've got to deliver the ball on time. Your biggest worry, ball gets tipped in the air. Because if that happens, then it's fair game for the defense. Great mix of play callings. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Cowboy. Taking it in from a yard out. And the Cowboys will extend their lead. That seemed pretty ideal there for the offense, Charles. You take a little bit of time off the clock here in the third quarter, decent length drive, and you pad your lead as well at the end of it. And what it does is lets you feel like you're in control of this game even more so than a two-touchdown lead, right? Because you've taken that time off, as you noted, which means they couldn't get you off the field. You ran your playbook the way you wanted to, and you gave your defense some rest. What a big-time drive in that situation. And that one pushes the lead up to 11. So this drive spans seven plays. And it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. 17. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Taking it about the one. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Yeah. At their own 31 yard line. Back on offense, New York gets set to take over. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, <laughs> realize it hasn't worked Go to somewhere somewhere else. And maybe you try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. The throw on the quick slant, going to be complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. Quarterbacks love slant routes because the receivers are breaking right into their line of vision. And receivers love them as well because they're getting the ball on the move and able to catch it and try and get upfield and gain additional yardage. and 10, Darnold, and that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Brings up second and 10. On second down now, it's Bell, and he's going to get this one down to the 45. Number 24 yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. The tackle made by Jalen Smith. The shotgun snap for Darnold. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. The Jet passing game in rhythm. They've got another first. 
a lot of times when you get a manageable third down situation like this, you have to think about your tight end, and he comes through for him picking up the first down. A first down throw, Darnold. He's got this one completed to Mims. And they got it inside the 10 at the 8. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. That was a nicely run slant route. And what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Out of the shotgun, here's Darnold. That is caught at the seven-yard line. And he's in. Touchdown, Jets. From eight yards out. And the Jets are able to make this a close game again. And on that one, able to catch it, also able to have the wherewithal to take it in for the score. And how about the phases of a successful catch and a completion of a play? Look the ball in, secure the catch, and then, of course, the run after the catch that ends up in the end zone. And now they'll empty the backfield here as they elect to go for two. Darnold to throw again, and he's got it. So the try for two successful, and with it, they're back with it, a field goal. Well, I guess the coach looked at the two-point cheat sheet, said go for it, get it to a three-point game, and they did it. Yeah, and sometimes you just throw out time of game. You don't worry about that. There's just a feel sometimes in making that call, and he felt good about what he had for a two-point conversion, and now they're only down three and feeling great about themselves. Will After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. Zeke and the Cowboys ready to begin their next drive. Since emerging from the locker room at intermission, he's looked pretty sharp, hasn't he? He's running in this third quarter like he got the orange slices at the head. Oh, yeah. Uh, you remember when he we got the orange stick? slices, not the carrot stick. Oh, boy. There, there was always that mom, there was wasn't always, there? There was always that mom. Wasn't yours, wasn't mine. <laughs> All right, the front of the carrot sticks. But this guy, orange slices, and been reading the surface tab of watching the defenses, and he's made some nice adjustments. <laughs> Throwing again. Prescott on second and 10. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. 19 yards there on the catch and run. Do it! Do it! <laughs> and I feel a little bit like a traitor as a former defender because that big man did not want to go down and refused to go down. If you're a defender and you'll get the right angle on a big tight end like him, he can run right through you like you're not even there. And he did a lot of that on that play. Just get the playoff. Now Prescott. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he is brought down, but not before reaching the 30. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. First down. First and 10 at the 30-yard line. One quarter remains here in the Super Bowl. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. 25. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 30-yard line. They'll throw again. Prescott. He's going to find Gallup here complete. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. It's a gain of seven. Brings up second. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. 
To the air again, Prescott. And this is caught. It's Cooper. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Three touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott. And the Cowboys will add on to their lead. And correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You've got it down pat. And I just remember as a player, when I'd be in practice sessions and I'd hear nine from the receivers, that meant fly route, go, uh-oh, look out. That was the nine, and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. Five plays there on that drive. And it culminates in a Dallas touchdown. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. First and 10 at their own 27 yard line. The Jets offensive unit ready to get going here. And we're at the time of this Super Bowl where, look, they need points. And they need them badly. Trailing here in the fourth quarter as they begin this drive first and 10. Darnold now to throw. Looking downfield, and that's caught right side. He's got his man. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one-possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. Here's Darnold. Bell sheds him off. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back. Complete. Darnold's pass. Complete to Le'Veon Bell. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Four receivers in the formation here. Three to the left, one to the right, second and three. Now it's Darnold. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys 35. The Jet passing game in rhythm. They've got another first. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you're talking about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. A gain of nine brings up second and on second down, it's Bell. And he's got this pretty close to a first down at the Cowboys' 20-yard line. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. ten at the 20-yard line. Donald for the red zone now. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. And the Jets are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. That one goes for 16 yards. It sets him up first and goal. Well, every drive from here out is definitely crucial and critical. They know that they need to get at least three here to get it back to a one-score game. I can't imagine that in their huddle that they're thinking at all about getting a field goal. They want to get into the end zone and then try and get the ball back again. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Now Bell, and he's in. Touchdown, Jets. Le'Veon Bell, his second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Jets have made this a one-score game. Nice execution there. Good job by the old line getting him in for the second time. And you always have to start with credit there when you're having a big game. I mean, you don't get there by yourself. That's rare. But how about the ability to see the proper holes, pick the proper place to go, and find his way into the end zone? And the lead is down to a field goal now. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it ends with a Le'Veon Bell touchdown run. to the 
touchdown. Lutz to kick it off. Fields it in the middle of the end zone. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. And let's gaze our attention on Ezekiel Elliott. He has a chance to hit that often elusive 200-yard mark on this drive. And most of the time during a game, people aren't keeping track of individual statistics. Are you sure? Well, a lot of the runners kind of know. But I'll guarantee you, someone has sent word into the offensive line that he's got a chance to get over 200 on this drive. That should get... Oh, Prescott stripped, and it's scooped up by the Jets. And nothing but green grass here, middle of the field. And he takes it to the house. It's a fumble recovery for a Jet touchdown. And what we just saw, very, very rare. We only had five of those in the first 50 Super Bowls. The biggest stage, the biggest game, and we just saw it happen again. Extraordinary. The defense has been good, and they were good again there. Lutz to try to add the PAT. And that will make this a four-point game. So not only the cough-up, but then the pickup on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. And this will make it into the end zone. And he'll just take a seat, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. Amari Cooper and the rest of the offense heading back out there now. And I know that they've double-teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Michael Gallup, that's who he was looking for. And that'll bring up second down. It's now second and 10 at the 25-yard line. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. The Cowboys on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and four. And this is caught. Amari Cooper. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 11 yards and a Cowboy first down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. They play fake to Elliott. Now Prescott. Going to take a shot for Gallup. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 22. Well, this had trouble written all over from the start. He's got two extra defensive backs in the game he's got to deal with. They're in a dime set. So everywhere he's looking, he's seeing a different color jersey. And sure enough, this one winds up being intercepted. Now the Jets offense gets ready to head back on the field. And the tension ratcheting up all around. A one-score game, fourth quarter of the Super Bowl. This is what you folks came for. Every play with the potential to win or lose a title as they look to drain some time off this clock. They'll run on first down. Bell. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four. Here's Darnold. That's caught right side by Mims. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. Good for a Jets. So first and 10 now from the 30. Now a draw play. This is Bell. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop it right around the line of scrimmage. A 
officially it's a one yard loss that's going to bring up second and 11. when a draw works it can be a thing of beauty but when it doesn't oh it can be ugly and in this case loss of yardage ugly Second and 11 now. Darnold, throw left side, take it in by Mims. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys 14. Over 100 yards receiving for him now in the Super Bowl. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Here's Bell. And able to get him inside the five here, just inside the five to about the four. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. It's a gain of nine. Brings up second and a yard. Now Darnold. And boy, that one drops incomplete, but if he was hit a fraction sooner, it may have been a fumble. The Jets on third down, six conversions and nine tries. They've done a great job of picking these up. They need just a yard here. And this will be caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Jets. Denzel Mims there to make the grab. And the Jets find a way to stretch their lead. And they use that height on the outside to get the score. We've seen the evolution of the wide receivers. They've gotten taller and taller, but they've retained their quickness and their speed. It's a lethal combination. Always good to have wide receivers with height. Alonzo looked to add the extra point. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So that drives seven plays in length. And it ends with a jet touchdown. to kick it off. Now this will make it into the end zone. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. Dak Prescott on the offense heading back onto the field. With his guys trailing here in the fourth, he can ill afford a repeat of the interception that ended the last drive. Yeah, you two scores down. You take it upon yourself now to play perfect or near-perfect football if you want to get your team back into the game. But it's also tough to do when you're trying to avoid errors, yet still play perfect football. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. A gain of six there on first. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. They need a touchdown, the two-point conversion, and a field goal. Pretty good start to the drive, though. Yeah, good start to the drive, but the urgency has to really be increased by both the players on the field and everyone on the sidelines. Got to make sure everyone is up and into this game. Third down and four. Prescott from the gun on third. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. It's a gain of 16 in the Dallas first down. Now correct me if I'm wrong, you know, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and ten. And again, it's Prescott. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Elliott. That catch good for only a couple. Here's a four-receiver look now. Three of those guys out to the right side on second and eight. Second and eight at their 49-yard line. Prescott yet again. And that is incomplete. Amari Cooper, his intended receiver, and that'll make it third down. Brings up third down. And from the shotgun, it's Prescott. Open man, Lamb. It's complete. 
And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Prescott and Lamb hooking up for the Cowboy first. You cannot write these guys off just yet. Not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 38. Prescott from the gun. He'll find Lamb. That's complete. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Pass on target. Prescott to Cooper. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. And it's incomplete. Took a shot. Couldn't connect. Amari Cooper the intended target. And now it's second down. It's now second and ten. Prescott with a throw caught by Lamb. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 15-yard line. Give them 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues. And this is caught now for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They had the touchdown they needed, but if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, okay, you got the touchdown, but it sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively, though, you're probably hoping for a one-to-five play drive. That one ate up a little more time than they were hoping. You're exactly right, and if you have that one-to-five play drive, you actually build up momentum and even more hope when they had to slog their way downfield. They got the touchdown, but it's almost like, ah, yeah, you know. It doesn't gotta, feel right. Exactly. There's certainly some importance to this one now. After the touchdown, they could get this down to a field goal with a two-point conversion. And he will get into the end zone as a two-point conversion is successful. And the lead is down to a field goal here in the fourth. So they got their touchdown. Now down a field goal. Here comes the onside kick. And the Jets have got it. A tough one there. They certainly wanted that when they needed it, but they didn't absolutely have to get it. They still do have three timeouts. You're exactly right. They had to attempt it, but even though they didn't get it, as you noted, with three timeouts, if they can get these stops on defense, all hope is not lost. And the Jets set to take the field. And this game not quite in hand yet. We'll likely see all three timeouts defensively and then reassess where we are. First down, it's Bell. Now a timeout called for by the defense as he'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Again, it's Bell. And he'll take this one down to about the 40. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now as he'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Darnold now to throw, and that is incomplete. From a defensive perspective, they had exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football. There was pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him, and they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion. And I don't think this has the carry. It does not. It's no good, and this score will stay right where it is. So Jack and the Cowboys down by a field goal a little over a minute to go. They need at least a field goal to send this Super Bowl to overtime as they come up on first down. Maybe an important fourth quarter miss as this stays a three-point game. Yeah, now overtime is very much in the equation here. Just what you mentioned, a three-point game. They get a drive, put it through the post. We could have some free foot. And at the seven-yard line, the catch is made. Cooper. A big play here for the Cowboys. 
Davis. 47 yards. What a game it's been for this duo. They remind me of a good comedy team. They know how to play off of each other so well. No matter how one riffs, the other's right there to pick them up, and they are shredding them in this ball game. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. Here's Elliott. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. A two-yard pickup brings up third and goal. Prescott on third and goal. And he's got it. It's caught for a touchdown. They have taken the lead here in the final seconds. So for those of little faith, guess what? It got done. They now have the lead with that touchdown this late in the contest. I wonder if that was a play they were holding or a play that they just knew would work from past experience. Well, I just saw it in their eyes on the sideline before starting that last drive, and they did. You're right. They got it done. Looks like they're going to be the winners. Now Bailey to tack on the extra point. And it would appear they're going to get out of here with a come-from-behind victory. Just a four-play drive that time. And it ends with what most likely will be the game-winning touchdown. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. From the 10. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. And the Dallas Cowboys will hoist the Lombardi Trophy. They are the kings of the NFL. And when this moment comes, I think you look back at all the blood, sweat, and tears, the offseason, the workouts, training camp, week one, two, three, all building up now to say you're a Super Bowl champion. It's worth it. It certainly is, and rarely do we have a team that hoists the Lombardi Trophy that didn't have their share of bumps along the way, didn't have to face some adversity in the journey, and now they get to just enjoy it and revel in it. And all offseason, they'll be signing their autographs with Super Bowl champion underneath it. Super Bowl champs, the Lombardi Trophy is theirs, and so are bragging rights for an entire season. What a season it has been. Feels like we have been there every step of the way. Our entire crew doing a wonderful job. Thanks to my broadcast partner, Charles Davis. For all those guys, I'm Brandon Gordon signing off. We'll talk to you next season right here on EA Sports.